Okay, we're going to find the third degree Taylor polynomial for square root of x at a equals 1. We will use the Taylor formula. Here we go. And we don't have to do it all the way because we're just on the third degree. So for the n, we just have to go from 0, 1, 2, 3. That is it. And later on, I'll also show you guys the graph, but that will be at the end. Anyway, let's write down f, the total parentheses, it was the n, and then the x. And here, let's write down the Taylor formula. And the a, the center, is 1, and we divide it by n factorial. So this is what we have. All right, let's get to work. When n is equal to 0, this right here is just the original, and we have to differentiate square root a lot. So let's write it as x to the 1 half power. Differentiating this one time, bring the 1 half to the front, minus 1, we get positive 1 half. x, this minus that is negative 1 half. And then continue, bring the negative 1 half to the front, minus 1. 1 half times negative 1 half is negative 1 over 4, and then x. Negative 1 minus 1, I mean negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 half. Then do it again, bring this to the front, minus 1. Negative 1 over 4 times negative 3 over 2 is positive 3 over 8. And then x to the, this minus that is negative 5 over 2, like that. Well, plugging number time. Here, plugging 1 in here for the x. 1 to the power, for power is just 1, that's nice. Divided by 0 factorial, so this right here is just going to give us 1 over 0 factorial. And that's very nice because all in all, that's going to give us just 1. Next, I'm going to put in the 1 in here. And based on this, this is just 1 to hyper, so it's still 1 times 1 half. So the top is 1 half. But don't forget to divide it by 1 factorial. For this one, it doesn't matter because 1 factorial is still just 1. So all in all, we end up with 1 half. However, for the next one, when we put in the 1 in here, well, this is negative 1 over 4 on the top. But we really have to divide it by 2 factorial now. And 2 factorial is the same as 2 times 1, which is just 2. So all in all, this becomes negative 1 over 8. Similarly, put the 1 in here, we actually have 3 over 8 on the top. Then we divide it by 3 factorial. What's 3 factorial? 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And that's a denominator multiplied with that. And you can just write it as 3 over, well, this is 6 times 8. And of course, we can just reduce. So this is going to be 1 over 16, like this. Yes, right? So yeah, just reduce that. All right, so that's great. That's wonderful. All right, here we have square root of x. And because we want the Taylor polynomial at 1, so right here, a is equal to 1. And this is just approximation because it's only a third degree. All right, the first thing is, here is the constant term, which is just 1. And then x minus 1 to the zeroth power, so nothing, just a constant term. Next, we have 1 half. So we have to add 1 half. And then we have to multiply it by x minus the center, which is 1, and then raise that to the first power. Right? So that's what this is telling us. And we'll just continue. Next, we have the negative 1 over 8 times x minus, again, the a, which is 1. And then here is to the second power. Lastly, we have 1 over 16. So we add 1 over 16, and we multiply by x minus 1 and then raised to the third power. And this is it, because you have the third degree right here, and you do not have to multiply out, simplify whatsoever. This is preferred. And now, let me show you guys the graph for the third degree Taylor polynomial and also the square root of x.